The goal of this video is to create a planar two link manipulator. The manipulator consists of two links, the red link, which is link one, and a green link, which is link two. The center of mass of these links are the white dot as shown. Uh, we'll put a pin joint at 0, 0, and a pin joint at 1, 0. We'll also place an end effector, which will be done in the next video. So let's see how to, we go about modeling this. Open the simulate app. Uh, we'll work exclusively with this hello.xml example. We'll modify it to sort of purpose. So we'll make a copy of it and call it manipulator. So drag and drop it. And then you see that familiar block being dropped on a red plane. So let's open this in Atom. So I'm going to make changes to this file and view it on the right side by clicking on uh, reload, which is here. So first thing I'll do is turn off gravity so that this block will not be locked down. For that, you need to look at the XML reference. The command to stop gravity, to, to reset the gravity to zero is option gravity equals zero, zero, zero. And for the tag, and now we just, just do reload and you see that the block is stationary. I want to change the color of the plane. I'm going to make it white, one, one, one. And then since my manipulator is two meters long, I'm going to change the size of this plane to two by two. So it will be a four by four plane. And let's uh, reload. It's white, pan and tilt, and zoom. And so zoom out so to see that it's something like this. Okay. Um, I would like to move this source of light away so that it doesn't cast a shadow. So let's move it far away, let's say to 10. Okay, now that I've created the plane, let's move on to modifying this box. I don't need a box here, I'm going to use a cylinder. So I'll change this to cylinder. And then cylinder has two parameters. One is the radius, that's I'm going to specify 0.01. Five, and then half the length. So half the length is going to be 0.5 because the complete length is going to be one meter. I want to change the color to red. So R is one, zero, zero. And then last one is phase two. Save this and reload. You see, we got a cylinder. Now we want to make a planar manipulator, which means we want the cylinder to be along this plane or parallel to the plane and not 90 degrees to it. So we need to understand how to rotate this. So first thing we'll do is we'll go to rendering and show the body frame. And so here the frame is shown with the red, blue, and green, red being the x-axis, green being the y-axis, and blue being the z-axis. So here the cylinder, which is along the z-axis, needs to be turned by 90 degrees above the green or the y-axis. So what I do is I specify here Euler equals 0, 90 for the y-axis. And then I just do reload. Now I'm going to remove the frame and you can see that's along the, it's parallel to the plane. You can move it slightly down, say 0.1. So now it's pretty close to the ground. And then we can also actually visualize the world frame. Okay, so that's the world frame. So the world frame is origin at 0, 0, 0. And you see that our cylinder is uh, slightly offset. The center is actually at 0, 0. But we want this edge to be at uh, 0, 0. So what we need to do is we need to translate it. So that we notice that the, the cylinder is center is at zero, zero, and its end, which is this one, is not at zero, zero. So what we need to do is transit this end along uh, this axis, the world x-axis, the red, and so that transition should be 0.5 about the x-axis. So I go here and change this to 0.5, and then do reload. And then we see that it has moved. 
and it's now at the center, the edge, the end of the cylinder is the center of the frame. Okay, so we've got the cylinder in the right place. Now let's change the joint. So you can actually visualize the joint by clicking on joint. And so if you see a, a box, then it means that it is a free joint. And now we'll change it to a free joint. Let's do reload. And then you can see a hinge joint. Now the hinge joint comes with a arrow, which you can't see because it's buried in the thread, but we need to rotate it so that it points in the Z axis here, the world Z axis, so that the manipulator can turn in the plane. For that, I need to now show the body frame. And from the body frame, we can see that the axis we want this hinge joint to be is along the red, which is actually buried here. So it should be pointing upwards and the positive X axis is downwards. That means this, the axis of the hinge joint should be minus one, that is along the negative X axis and then zero, zero. So we do a reload. Yes. Axis and then we do reload. And then you see that it's actually pointing in the direction we want it. Now we also want to move it to the end of the cylinder, which means that we need to move it by uh, 0.5 along the negative Z axis. So I put uh, POS equals minus five, so zero, zero, minus 0.5. Okay. So note that this position now is about its parent frame, the parent frame being that of the body, the cylinder. So the movements here are local, about the local axis. Okay, so this is how our first link looks. Now what I need to do is create the second link right here. So what I need to do is essentially copy this. And now what I need to do is I need to nest it inside this body tag because it, it is a child of this cylinder, the red cylinder. So I'm going to nest it. So before this body tag ends, I'm going to copy paste. I'll make a few changes and then I'll visualize it. I'm, I want this position to be zero, 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 zero. I'm going to reset everything to zero just to make it easier to build up the intuition and, and logic as I reload it. I'll keep the size same, but I'll change the color to be green. All looks good. Let me reload. And then if you see that it's actually lined up exactly on top of the red cylinder. So now what I need to do is I clearly need to move this green uh, to the right. And the center of mass of the screen is right in the middle. So I need to move the center of mass of the green cylinder to be one meter away from the center of the red cylinder. Okay, so the distance from center of mass to center of mass should be one meter. The question is which axis should I go to next? So if you turn on the axis again, you see that uh, I need to move about the blue axis, which is the Z axis. So I need to go zero, zero, one. And now let me eliminate the frame. And then you can see it's, it's about right. Now again, we have this problem with this does. Uh, pin joint is, is along the blue, which is along the Z axis. I want it to point along the, in the upward direction, which is the negative X axis. So I change, so I add here axis equals minus one, zero, zero. The minus one indicating it's along the negative X axis. Do remove, so what? Now again, this is going to be at the, center of the green cylinder, I wanted to move by a short distance to the left. So it's exactly at the intersection of the two. So what I do is again, visualize the body. I see that I need to move it along the Z axis of the cylinder, the green cylinder by a distance of minus 0.5. So I change the POS to be equal to zero, zero, minus 0.5, where this minus 0.5 is because I need to move about an, a negative 0.5 distance about the z-axis. Now reload. 
and then I can eliminate the uh, uh, frames. And this is my uh, manipulator in in the XY plane. 